I'm also not sure what I would do if she says no, I don't think I handle rejection well. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Empire's SMP. So, last episode, we went and investigated all of the other empires and seen what they had to offer. And from that, we basically worked out who we think we're allies with, who we're unsure of, and what else we needed in our empire. Now, last episode, we basically decided that I do in fact need a church, and I have done some work to clear out a space for that. So around the back of the sheep shack here, I have flattened out this entire area. And in here, I have a bunch of different building blocks to build myself the church. Now I put an order for Joel for some concrete, which he gave me. Pixelrest was also kind enough to donate me some gold until I can get a gold farm set up. And I went and visited the Ocean Queen herself to get some prismarine. Hello, Ocean Queen. Ocean's blessings to you, Smadger. Thank you, thank you. I'm here to trade for some of your wonderful prismarine. Ah yes, the best block in the world, wouldn't you agree? Yes, yes. I do actually enjoy it. It's very much my colour palette, so yes, I do mm -hmm. agree. Good. I am in the market for like six stacks of dark prismarine. And about dark a stack prismarine. of Yeah. And a stack of sea lanterns if you have that. Of course, of course. Oh yes. And what do you have to offer in return for such glorious goods I have to? Well I have many options for you. I either have wool string or in the future i am building a gold farm so i can give you gold once i have that set <gasps> gold yes gold is yes, that something like you... okay That's okay the thing oh. i would like yes okay please. yes yes we will do that then it's an iou for gold i'm a man of my word mm -hmm. once it is set up you will be allowed as much as you require Ooh, i'm gonna start requiring a lot of gold around here oh god <laughs> you just start building everything out of gold lily pads Did out of I gold tell you, my next roof is going to be made entirely out of gold Oh, that's going to be a lot of gold. Right, well, make sure it's an efficient farm. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you very much. Very much Can't appreciated. Can't wait to receive my gold in the post one day. Yep, one day. Well, thank you very much. This will help a lot. You're welcome. All right, bye. Okay, thank you, bye. Now, as you've seen, I have said that we are eventually setting up a gold farm. Originally, back in the day when we were all deciding what we were going to do, gold was going to be Joey's thing. The Lost Empire was going to export gold, but Joey sort of pivoted into uh, Totems of Undying and didn't really want to set up a gold farm. So I am going to work with Flip to inevitably set up a gold farm because I want to use a lot of gold in my area. Basically, where I've used yellow concrete on any of the builds, it's meant to be gold. So I need that set up, please. Now I have done some terraforming. As you can see, we now have some more cliffs here. There's a little cliffs there and also round there. And that's because I eventually want this to feel like it's really high up and it's awkward to get into Rivendell. It's meant to be a city in the mountains. It will eventually expand further back into the higher up levels of the mountains. And I want to kind of play with those different levels. You can also see four little areas that I have sort of surrounded in wool. And those are going to be for my embassy buildings. So I will go and ask Jem, Catherine, Whip, and Shubble if they would come and build one and I can kind of give them all an option of the spot just whoever comes first can pick one and we'll work our way down. So we'll have one down there, one over here, one there, and one there. Obviously whoever builds this one I would rather it be quite a small building just so it doesn't block any of this view but that one, that one and the one at the back can kind of be as tall as they want. The way I'm kind of thinking is it might be better if Jem takes this one because her little crystal cave are just like small normal buildings whereas the gremlin stuff's quite tall, Catherine's towers are tall and Shelby could build like a giant mushroom or something. I'm happy for them to sort of dot it around I think it'll look really cute where they are because they're kind of spaced out a little bit and then I can obviously go in and make different like areas filled out here with like flower gardens and paths and all that sort of stuff so I'm very excited but as I said today's topic is that church now using the like Matica mod I have already built one and as you can see this is what it's going to look like that's the what we're aiming for this really really tall pointed roof building that's kind of the goal I think it sits really nicely up there it's also very white and a lot of quartz and white materials rather than wood in it because again I wanted to seem more fancy and regal as it's a place of worship for Eeyore. So let's jump into a time lapse.
So, after several hours, we are done with the Church of Eeyore. Look at it. It's so large. Let me just do a little fly. Bam! Luckily, someone did sleep, so the phantoms will just start to burn and they can leave. I don't need to. But look at it. It's so pretty. And super tall. Now, if we come inside, I have done a bunch of the interior work, and this is what we have. We have the super cute gold, white, and cyan carpet. We've got pews all the way down. We've got some planters. Got another little mini staghorn at the back, where I sort of stand up here and can, like, speak on... I don't know what I'm meant to do in the church. I just have it. And this is what we've got so far. Super cute. 10 out of 10. Love it. Got super cute big windows on either side. I just think it worked out really, really well. I also put some sea lanterns underneath this carpet, so that's why it sort of stays lit up, which is nice. And I think that's just a really cool addition to a radio. Again, my vantage point is always this little tower. I always just like to go to the top of my enchanting tower just to see how things look. And look at it, it fits so nicely, just like nestled right at the top. Super tall, towers over the sheep shack. I mean, you can kind of see it from everywhere, which I love. 10 out of 10, definitely. I won't say build again, because it took a long time, but like, I'm glad it exists. 10 out of 10, I'm glad it exists. Okay, so now that we have the church done, I'm actually gonna head over to Jem to ask her if she will come and build an embassy in my area. And I think she is on. Jem, hello. Ow. Hi, Scott. Hi, Jim. Okay, so, you know, also just side note, this is very cute. 10 out of 10, love the tower. Also love your wings, very cute. Yep, mm -hmm. I'm buttering you up, I'm buttering you up. <laughs> so, you know how we're like allies? Right. So, I was wondering if you would maybe like want to build like an embassy in Rivendell for the Crystal Cliffs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> Yeah, okay, perfect. There's uh -huh. a spot in Rivendell, you'll see it. It's like in front of the deer statue. Maybe if you'd build your little building there and don't make it okay. too tall so it doesn't like cover everything, but I thought it would look really cute there. Okay, okay, I could do that. Not too tall, not, <gasps> no, not this tall. Not this tall, yeah. Please don't outshow me in my own empire, please. Otherwise you will go from <laughs> allies to enemies very quickly, Gem. <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that. Okay, little, little building, that'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I, will. I will. Oh, yay. Yeah, we could very easily do like two towers between our bases and easily connect together, to be honest. That's a long way to run. But it doesn't have to be a path. It could be like a couple of loops that you fly through on a light dress. <gasps> Fine. I like that. Yeah. yeah, we could. Yeah, that makes sense. Us cliff people got to stick together. Exactly. <sighs> Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing what you build. Thank you. Okay, bye. Oh. Scales. Scales. Well, there we go. That's the first one done. I now just need to grab Catherine, Shovel, and Fwet, and then ask them to do the same. Now we're going to head over to Catherine and see if we can also convince her to do the same. At least I hope so. It's going to be embarrassing if I've marked her as an ally and she says no. Okay. Hello, Catherine. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Oh, good. How I'm are good. you? <laughs> <laughs> Where are those people? So, I have come to ask you a question because, like, we are allies, we are friends, we run a plushy business together, like, we've always been in good uh -huh. terms. Yeah. Would you please build an embassy in Rivendell oh, for your kingdom? There's sure. A, an area of House Blossom in Rivendell. Would you do that? There's a spot for me? Yeah. So there's four spots because I've got four allies that I want to build embassies. So uh -huh. when you fly over there, you can see there'll be like areas with cyan will. There's three options for you to pick between. You can pick anyone and build whatever you want. You don't need to stick directly in the area, which is a kind of guideline of the rough area. But okay. if you're willing to do so, that would be great. Yes, 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 I will. <gasps> Yee. Perfect. Yay. Just don't show me up in my own area, please. That's my only request. Fine. <laughs> I you were just build gonna a mega base you were gonna next to your yeah, house. You were going to build a mega base in the, the most intricately detailed. This is my land now. It I actually, own this place. It actually is all underground. It's a little shack, but then when you go inside, it just goes into this giant underground like city. Yeah, please don't do that. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, half done. Jem and Catherine have both said yes. Now I'm going to head over to Fwip and see if he will do it. And then I've just got Fwip and Shovel left. So let's head over to Fwip now and we can ask him if he'll build us an embassy. Okay, here we are at the Gremlins. Hi, oh, hello. About hi. This. hi. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi. Um, I don't know what to do here. 
I mean, it, it can affect your aesthetic. I don't know if I'd touch it too much. Yeah, I just, uh, it, yeah. Mm. I try and keep the corruption outside the walls, and it uh, just keeps coming back in here. Don't know what to do. But hi, how can I help hi, you with that? Yeah, no, a demon stuff aside, yeah, I've just can't, my, all my corruption stuff is just one side, like, on a little island detached from the main Rivendell, so we're just kind of watching it and just letting it do its thing. We're just kind of seeing what oh, happens. Good, good. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that's nice, that's nice. Put a new cat to guard the front gate, and obviously that didn't work, and, uh, I yeah. think the cats are working with the demon because the demon gave a cat to Sausage, Shovel, and Gem. Oh, well, cats are pretty evil, so. Yeah. Makes sense. Anyway, yeah. speaking of Rivendell, we are friends, we are allies, we've kind of been bonding over the course of the yeah, series. Yeah, you, you chose our side last time. That's great. Thanks, Scott. I, I don't know if I chose a side. It was just I, I defended yeah, no, you no, because... Yeah, 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 yeah. You helped me out. You helped me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. About that, so, would you like to build an embassy? And Rivendell, like a gremlins Are you building. You're to solidify our alliance right now, Scott. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I could do that. I, I can do that. Yay! I'll swing by later. You tell me where, and we'll. Go I've actually already mapped out several areas because I'm asking four of you to solidify my allyship. It's based on first come first serve of whatever area you want. There's a little cyan will sort of around in a circle. They're just rough guidelines. If you want to go out with it a little bit, you can. The only rule is please don't show me up by building something cooler than my buildings thank you okay okay got it got it got it all right can do imagine it Sounds like good. on a wedding dress you're like a piece of jewelry rather than rivendell is the dress and you <laughs> can be like a bracelet that's kind of the vibe we want we're like okay you're okay. still it's really so pretty big, but giant, you don't shiny bracelet yeah but you just like don't over, yeah you just don't overshadow the everywhere. dress is the the main point uh, add, add to the dress add, yeah, to, the add to the stuff. dress got don't it, take it. away okay. from the dress. Okay. yeah no we can make that happen we got okay to, yeah perfect got build to your heart's content as long as again you're aiming for shiny bracelet not the wedding dress very shiny very yeah. very like freshly cleaned like super shiny got it okay cool yeah okay Thank you. I'm now Great. worried. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, man, I'm excited now. I'll get that Yay. set up for you soon. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you very much. Good luck with all of this. And that was, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I cleaned it out earlier, and now it's all just back again. So we'll see. Right. Bye. All right. Bye, Scott. Okay, so I have asked three of them. I now just need to run over to Shubbel and see if I can also ask her to come build an embassy. And then that's a done. We've accomplished the mission for today. I'm also not sure what I would do if she says no. I don't think I handle rejection well. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hi. Hello. So, Shubbel. Hello. Welcome. I have come today because we are allies. We are friends. We have helped mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. out through the course of your time in this world and yeah. i was wondering if you'd maybe like to come to rivendell and build an embassy at some point <gasps> so like build one of what your like mushroom buildings in rivendell to oh! sort of solidify your allyship oh my goodness i would love to you'll be my first Yay! like official ally we love it okay perfect Yay! basically there are like three areas around Rivendell that have got like will, like cyan will, you can just mm -hmm. claim one of those. I've asked a few Ooh. other people, so like obviously first come first serve if you want to go and pop a sign down. You don't need to stick exactly in it, but it's up to you whether you wanted to build like a mushroom house or build like a hobbit hall with mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Yeah, mushroom. So Any particular like... colour scheme? Nope, just make it your own. Okay, obviously... it's gonna be red. Okay, perfect. That means it'll stand <laughs> out quite nicely. Yay! Perfect! Ooh, you know what? Would you like to build an embassy here? Ooh, yes. I can build a Rivendell style me... building here somewhere at some point. <gasps> yeah, you... I'll make a little area yeah. for other kingdoms. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, this is My first friend! Woo! So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Empires. We managed to build ourselves the Church of AR. We also managed to get all four of our allies confirmed to build an embassy, which solidifies the allyship. We now have four official allies, which I'm very excited about. Next episode though, we are going to need to inform those allies and other people about the demon. You know, I've actually, I've kind of sat on the demon knowledge about the whole, you know, it being related to it. I've not really told anyone. So I probably should do that actually. And see what we're wanting to do as a group because that seems like a potential threat that's getting closer and closer. But if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video, and I will see you all next time. Bye!